In the last episode, we uncovered fascinating evidence of buried cities beneath the American Southwest, brought to light by old newspapers digitized by the U.S. Library of Congress. These forgotten articles, some over a hundred years old, reveal a world, hidden right under our feet, quite literally covered up. We began with New Mexico, where the Anasazi tribe once lived, but the story goes much deeper. One such article talked about a grand structure, the largest building ever, that once stood in Chaco Canyon, now mostly ruins. Today, Chaco Canyon is a national park, with much of it off-limits to the public. Tourists are shown only surface-level ruins, with no mention of the rumored subterranean cities below. According to a government document titled A Brief History of Chaco Culture National Historical Park, there were indeed underground dwellings in the area, but they were looted and vandalized long ago. In 1906, the Federal Antiquities Act stopped further exploration. Aerial views reveal perfectly straight lines and grids etched into the landscape, likely created by an unknown civilization. We briefly touched on the idea of molten rock structures, places that appear to have been melted by some unknown force, possibly directed energy. We also looked at reports of ancient treasures being looted by businessmen, and even the Smithsonian Institute, with some findings mysteriously vanishing, including skeletons of giants and other strange beings. There's much more to uncover, and the story is far from over. Anyway, if you feel like you've missed anything, check out the previous video, the link is in the description. I recommend watching it to get the full picture. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Ancient Tunnels Under El Paso We're looking at a fascinating article about the discovery of an ancient Aztec city buried beneath the soil of El Paso. The title of the article, An Ancient Aztec City Buried Beneath the Soil of El Paso, gives us a glimpse into the incredible idea that the lost city could be hidden beneath the surface of the earth. The article mentions that beneath the ground of El Paso, there are believed to be ruins of an ancient city, filled with treasures, gold, and manuscripts, from the extinct Aztec civilization. Specifically, a place called Mundi's Edition is thought to be the site of a castle, made from white marble, which served as a residence for priests. According to Dr. Burson, an archaeologist cited in the article, there is strong evidence that El Paso is built on the ruins of a magnificent city with castles and palaces, whose walls were made of solid masonry and polished marble. This city is believed to have existed long before Hernan Cortes arrived in Mexico, back when Emperor Montezuma ruled. Dr. Burson further claims that a beautiful Aztec castle once stood on the banks of the Rio Grande, and that it was buried beneath the earth by a volcanic eruption from Mount Franklin. Let me think for a moment. Palaces and castles. White marble. In 1800s Texas, at a time when the place was not even yet fully discovered by so-called civilization. The pre-Spanish Aztec myths ascribe the area to a god called Tlaloc, depicted on the screen. With all that gear and tech, maybe he was the one who built those now submerged marble castles. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. It seems that half-buried cities were a common sight in the Wild West. People felt they were walking the remains of a destroyed civilization. The stories of locals confirm that there is something below El Paso, and it's not only smuggling tunnels of the cartel. Here are two examples of articles among the many that talk about this. From El Paso Times 2012. Chihuahuita resident Beatrice Gomez, 77 years old, has lived in her home on Canal Road her entire life, but discovered the den underneath her home about 30 years ago. Gomez said she has always been too scared to explore the den's depths, but told the story of a cousin of hers, who dared set foot into the den's dark concrete walls. He asked me if he could take a look, and I told him he could go in to see what was in there and where it led to, and I remembered that it smelled, Gomez said in Spanish. When he came out, he was scared. I didn't see anything behind him. It was too dark, but he looked so scared. Gomez has since sealed the den's entrance with a concrete slab and moved a storage shed on top of it. From El Paso News, 2016. 
If you've lived in El Paso for long, you've probably heard rumors of an elaborate maze of hidden tunnels beneath the city. Their existence has been the stuff of legend for more than 150 years. According to historian Ken Hudnall, there's several hundreds of miles of tunnels. Hudnall is an El Paso historian and author, and perhaps the region's leading expert on tunnels. He claims El Paso once had upwards of 900 miles of secret pathways. I've had some tell me they've been out to Horizon City, up into the Franklins. The gentleman who showed me the tunnel area has been into Mexico a number of times, said Hudnall. Most have since been destroyed or filled in, but you can still find several entrances in some of the city's older buildings. Over half the buildings downtown are connected. They've got openings even the owners don't know about. One of the more notable entrances is located beneath the Turtle House Apartments in what is now Sunset Heights. According to legend, people used to walk into this building in the 1800s, never to be heard or seen from again. Hudnall explains, the legend says, there's a house on the other side of the river that also has the very unique turtle on the side, and a tunnel went to there. Actually, there are many things like this floating around on the internet, you can search for them yourself. If you find it interesting, I'll continue in part 3. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.